Hey, what's up? This is Sandy VFX, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to export the individual clips in Premiere Timeline as separate video clips. Let me explain the scenario. You can see in my timeline, I have a few sound, sound bites uh, that I cut from a long video. You can see the original video, and I have picked uh, some sound bites that I want to move these uh, clips uh, into After Effects as separate video clips. Let me play this to you. My father went to Glasgow University. My mother went to nursing school. So, As you can see, uh, one clip I have added a video effect. To export these things, uh, you can go to Clip. First of all, you need to select all the clips. If you want to export uh, all the clips, you can go to Clip and Render and Replace. You will get this uh, Render and Replace dialog box. Let me explain the settings here. First, uh, you have to select the source settings. That means uh, when you export these clips as individual clips, we should tell Premiere what should be the frame rate, what should be the resolution. We can select uh, based on three options. If you select the sequence, uh, these clips will have the sequence, frame rate and resolution. If you select the uh, individual clips, that means uh, these exported clips will have the uh, individual clips, resolution and frame rate. And also you can select a preset and you can, uh, so then the exported video clips will have the uh, resolution and frame rate based on the preset you select. If you want to export these clips with the video effects uh, on the timeline, you have to select the sequence settings. Otherwise you cannot uh, have this option include video effects. The other option is uh, include handles. Handles means uh, when we export these clips, Premiere will automatically add extra frames. If you select uh, 30 frames, that means uh, Premiere will add extra 30 frames at the beginning of the clip and end of the clip. By that way, you can readjust the uh, edit point uh, when you edit these things again. The maximum number is uh, 999, so this is the max number that you can go. If you want to 30 frames, you can add 30 frames and you can turn this checkbox on. If you want to export these clips as uh, MP4 format, you have to select the preset, right? Then uh, Premiere don't have uh, X264 format uh, by default. In order to import the preset, you go to the Adobe Media Encoder and here you can open the preset browser. First, uh, you need to select uh, perfect uh, H264 Kodak uh, preset that you want to uh, use uh, when we export these individual clips. Of course, uh, you can create a custom preset if you like. In this case, I select the 720PHD uh, preset. I right click and I uh, export the preset. So I select the uh, videos folder and you can see this name of the preset and you can see the extension EPR. I save this preset. Right now, I go to the Premiere and I select the preset and I select the import preset option. And I go to this place and I open the preset. Now you can see uh, the Premiere imported that preset. Now I'm going to click OK. And it is transcoding the media. It will take a time depending on the uh, length of the video clips. Now it has exported the video clips. You can go to the location and here you can see the uh, individual video clips. My father went to Glasgow University. My mother went to nursing school. And Mothering home, a daughter who left the hospital before she did, a bill for my foster care, and And uh, if you take a look at the format, you can see it is in MP4 format, right? So that is how you export uh, individual clips on your timeline. And also the second video clip has uh, effect. Uh, it does not include because we didn't uh, use the uh, method uh, that include uh, video effects. So if you uh, don't like these things, uh, you can see it will automatically import the uh, rendered clips into Premiere. If you want to undo this, you can select all the clips and you can clip and restore unrendered. That means it will remove the clips uh, in the Premiere timeline, but uh, you can get the original clips. Some people use the uh, Premiere Project Manager to export these clips, uh, but sometimes it does not work, right? Sometimes uh, it copy the entire source video file to that location. So this is the perfect method that you can use to export individual clips in Premiere Timeline. So hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and stay subscribed. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you so much.